Hey guys, welcome to Shojip Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple AI player which can move from one location to another. So make sure you have the CryEngine SDK sample project because you know you need the character here. Um, let's go ahead and open that. If you don't know how to import players, uh, you can check out my other videos about importing FPS player. So I'm going to go ahead and open this project. All right, we have the project open. Let's go ahead and create a new level. I'm going to name it level 1. Keep it small and simple. Let's test if we, you have the, uh, if you go to um, switch to game, you should have the FPS already. Alright. Press F1 to switch to third person. Alright, make sure you have this, alright. Go to AI in your uh, create object and then choose navigation area. So we're going to create this area for AI. Something like this. Click, 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 and then double click to end it. Alright, so if you don't see this blue kind of area, then you can turn it on by going to, um, you can go to game AI, then you can go to uh, debug navigation agent type. Make sure visual medium size character is checked. Then you will see uh, visually this area. You can select this by clicking here. Also, before that, uh, make sure um, you know your navigation area is has the medium size character checked. All right. Put tag points here. Tag points are used to uh, to move AI from one location to another. So you can tag point one. We can put another tag point, yeah. And let's bring in our uh, AI player. We go to legacy entities, uh, AI, character, human, drag it and put it in there, right? You can put it here, and this guy he will walk from here to whichever the first one we choose for them, for him. All right, there you go. And right click and create float graph. We're gonna name it um, AI movement. All right, so the flowchart is open. So what you want to do is first, um, you can do right click and go to add node and go to game. And then you can choose start. So this is the first thing, first thing you need always. Another way you can, uh, instead of right clicking and going through the list, you can do is uh, press Q and it'll show up. Then you can go up and down if there are more than one options. Uh, that's a quicker way of doing it. So we're going to create another one called uh, right click, add node, AI sequence, start. All right, let's connect this two. All right, we're going to uh, bring in a player. Um, so we need uh, entity ID. So we need entity, entity ID. All right. And this is going to be our player. So what you want to do is you want to choose your player, click on player, go back to your flow chart, right click on choose entity and assign selected entity. So this is your player entity. And now we can connect this to this. All right. Okay. Now we're going to add um, another AI sequence called move. Right there. And I connect this two. We're gonna do the same thing, uh same entity, right? So this this is the movement, right? So we know which player we want to move, and this is the flow chart flow, and we need a position to move. So we're gonna choose the first, we're gonna go back to our um sandbox and we're gonna pick uh, one of the tag points that we picked remember the tag point so let's pick on one of the tag point click select one of the tag point and go back to your floor chart and then you need to right click and add selected entity and this is your first tag point right all right so this is going to this is going to give you our first position drag that and put it here all right this is position one um then we're going to copy this Copy the AI sequence move and paste it here. All right, so make sure everything is connected. Uh, we want to disconnect this. 
by so we want to disconnect this too so this is right the entity is right is the player and once the first movement is done then the second one is going to start so we have to bring in the other tag point so select the second tag point and go back to flowchart right click add selected entity so this is the uh, second position position goes to this All right now we're going to end the ai sequence and down here wait no not this okay all right so that goes for this so let's go back and see if we play this play using this enable phys uh, physics ai see our ai is moving to first tag point and slowly walking to the second one right then it's going to stop our ai player is walking so we can we can make him um, run we can go back to our flow chart and then in the ai sequence move all right so if i change this so it's going to move to this location um instead of walking so let's see walk to run all right and now if i click on this it's going to run to tag point one and then it's going to walk to the uh tag point two we can also make it interesting and we can make it like a sprint the first is going to walk uh, run then he's going to sprint he's running to tag point one and he's sprinting to tag point two and he's going to stop 